Hello everyone. Thanks for downloading the latest in our series of videos exploring the functionality of Cork Express 8. We recently released the 8.1 update and we're really excited about the new features and workflow options that we've introduced in this version. My name is Dan Logan. I'm a product manager here at Cork. And in this episode, we're going to look at the native transparency output capability added to Cork Express 8.1. This is a very exciting enhancement to our output, and it gives you new options for outputting transparency from your Cork Express layouts. The first thing that I'd like to do is take a look at transparency, quickly review what transparency is, um, and look at how you historically would have output it from Cork Express. So what we have here is just a very basic page with an image on it of some red peppers. And one thing that I might do is uh, lay a box um, over my layout and give it a color. In this case, we'll, we'll color this box yellow. Now, in an opaque imaging model as the one used by PostScript, when you image a color onto the page, that color either completely replaces or overprints the color that was there before you drew the object. The colors cannot really interact per se. They either erase or overprint. In a transparent imaging model, such as the one used by uh, PDF and Cork Express itself, you can have um, a parameter of the object that defines its uh, opacity or its translucency, i.e. you can see through the object partially. When transparency occurs, um, and you lay down a color, the resulting color that's imaged on the page is a result of an interaction between the color that you drew and the color that you drew onto. Now you access transparency in many different places in Cork Express. For example, in this case, I'll go to the colors palette and I'll just reduce the opacity of that object and we'll drop that down to let's say 40% opaque. Now you can see here that I'm seeing through that box to the colors underneath. Um, other places where you would apply transparency are anytime you apply a drop shadow to an object in Cork Express, that is an instance of transparency. Uh, anytime you apply a mask to an image, a, a soft image mask as opposed to a clipping path, that is an example of transparency. Now, when you output a page from Cork Express, you're typically going into the uh, PostScript language, that's the page description language that we use to output jobs to a printer. The PostScript image uh, model doesn't inherently support transparency. In the PostScript model, it is fully opaque, like I described earlier. When you, when you draw something via PostScript, it has to erase or overprint what it drew onto. For that reason, if we're outputting a file that contains transparency, we have to do a process on it called flattening. Now, flattening is where we take transparent objects, such as the circle, and we convert them into opaque objects that appear as if they are transparent. So basically we fake it. We, we build a layout that has the appearance of transparency, but we do it using opaque objects that we create in the flattener. We do it by um, you know, taking objects and kind of carving them up, giving each one either a new color or the result of some picture compositing that's taken place in the transparency relationship. And that's how we're able to print these out to PostScript. Um, the enhancement in Cork Express 8.1 is that now you can output transparent objects natively, meaning you can go to PDF output where we don't convert those transparent objects into opaque objects. We leave them fully natively transparent. And we'll take a look um, at exactly what that means. Let's go ahead and look at, at this example where I've got my, uh, my transparent oval box over the peppers. If we go into Acrobat and we'll look at two different output files of that layout. The one on the left is flattened output, and the one on the right is natively transparent output. Now, just looking at them, uh, initially, they look identical, um, and in fact, they would print uh, identically. The difference isn't really in their appearance. The difference is in how that appearance is described in the output file. In the case on the left, where we flattened it, 
if I start to pull this file apart, we'll see the, uh, the, the effects of the flattening process. So if I select that um, circle and I move it up to the middle of the layout, you'll see it doesn't compose over the, the peppers that are in the middle of the bowl. It brings along the result of the transparency that it had against that pepper in the corner. You can sort of see now that it, that yellow box isn't a yellow box. It now is a picture box essentially that contains the composited result of what that yellow looked like over the pepper that it was in in Cork Express. So that's what a flattened layout would look like in output. On the right hand side in the native uh, transparency version, I can move that, that circle anywhere on the page and it will compose over the area that I've moved it to. That's because this is live transparency uh, or native transparency. It doesn't actually resolve the transparency relationship until it has to draw it to screen in this case because we're in Acrobat. So it's dynamically composing those transparent objects um, at whatever their transparent relationship is at the time of the rendering. And this opens up a lot of possibilities for us because this is basically um, an instance of what we call deferred rendering, meaning that you don't have to make some of these uh, destructive decisions that have to be made for flattening until later on down in your workflow. You can leave them um, as natively transparent objects that don't get glued down to their background until you decide to do it at whatever stage in your workflow um, you want to do it. You know, as you know, the, the whole idea of deferred rendering, of not making final uh, device specific output decisions until as late as possible in your workflow is uh, just a really good way of working when you're talking about um, prepress. So that's basically the difference between flattening and native transparency output. Let's look at a real life example. We'll go back to Cork Express.